John Freddy Jaramillo Gómez, Juan Alberto Holguín Palazzo. Relatives of forcibly disappeared people in Colombia are holding out hope that will achieve some closure as the exhuming of bodies in Comuna 13, the world's largest urban mass grave, began in the city of Medellin last week. Up to 300 victims are suspected of being buried in the debris dump. Many were placed there after a large-scale military attack on the community in 2012. The operation was orchestrated by the former Colombian president, Alvaro Ribe, and was praised at the time for rooting out so-called leftist extremists. There was little to no scrutiny from the media, despite early reports of human rights violations and the participation of brutal paramilitary groups. Que muchos querían ocultar y que muchos a veces decían que aquí se, se pacificó una comuna y se logró hacer casi que sin violencia. Y hoy se va a demostrar lo contrario, se va a demostrar que realmente no se pacificó ninguna comuna y lo que se hizo fue desaparecer toda una generación. Over a decade later, little has changed. State-sponsored atrocities continue to happen in Latin America, and the media continues to say little when the crimes are committed by U.S.-friendly governments. In May, Mexican state forces in Tanhuato, Michoacán, allegedly executed 42 people accused of belonging to an organized crime group. Just last year, there was another massacre of 22 people in the municipality of Tlatlaya by Mexican troops. The same justification was given. It seems that U.S.-friendly governments only need to have a scapegoat in order to commit human rights abuses with impunity. In Mexico, the scapegoat has been organized crime. In Colombia, it has been so-called leftist extremist. But as the bodies are exhumed in Colombia's mass grave, the truth about the perpetrators of these horrific crimes will become clearer, and even the mainstream media will be forced to take note.